Welcome to the React Hook series. Today we are going to learn about the use callback hook. Use callback is similar to use memo hook. However, instead of returning a memoized value, it returns a memoized version of the callback that only changes if one of the dependencies has changed. This hook is used to prevent unnecessary rendering in parent component when passing callbacks to the child components. To showcase this, let's have a look at the following example. This is a simple web application consisting of an increment counter button and a multiply counter button and two headings so that we can see their current values. Our main app component contains both increment counter and multiply counter components and their values. We are setting the values using useStateHook inside two custom functions we have defined inside our app component and then we are passing those functions and the values as props to our counter components. Here, counter component is wrapped with React Memo, and it will be rendered when state is changed. React Memo is a higher order component that prevents the component from being re-rendered if props or state is not changed. When we click the increment button, we see that the increment value is changing and the counter increment is being re-rendered. But here, counter multiply also re-rendered, although multiply value is not changed. Imagine if we have 10 child components inside our app component, all of them will re-render. And this is the moment when use callback is useful. So let's see how use callback can be implemented in this example. To use use callback, we have to import it from React and wrap our functions with it. We also need to define the array of dependencies, which will trigger use callback to return a memoized version of the callback every time those dependencies change. In our case, we will provide move value and increment value as dependencies. Now, if we go back to our application and click on increment counter, we see that counter increment component renders every time we click the button. Similarly, if we click on the multiply counter, we see that increment counter is not re-rendering anymore, and this is thanks to use callback. And that was use callback explained in less than 3 minutes. Thank you so much for watching.